So let's briefly look at what happens in perfect competition. So I've got a side-by-side -side graph. On the left side, I've got the market for corn, which is determined the price is $2. It's your equilibrium price. Quantity 10,000. Now one firm in perfect competition just has to accept that price decided by supply and demand because there's thousands of different firms. They're all selling homogenous products. There's no way to differentiate between one firm's corn and another firm's corn. So they all just have to charge the going rate, which is $2. So let's look at our one firm. They're just accepting this price. So there's the demand curve for their corn, completely elastic. The firm is a price taker. They're all charging $2. They're charging $2 also. So if they're all charging $2 and this firm is charging $2 for every single one that they sell, the additional revenue that they'd bring in for selling one more would be $2 also. So that's their marginal revenue line also. It's also, as we said, their price line. If they're selling every single one for $2, then their average revenue would also be $2. So that's also your average revenue line and your demand curve, the, the consumer's demand curve for that one firm's corn. Now, hopefully you know what marginal cost looks like. That's also an important line that we have to have. It looks like a Nike swoosh or a check mark. So there's marginal cost. And the rule is in every single market that they produce up to the point where MR equals MC. That's how they determine uh, what their maximum profit would be. To maximize profits, that's where they produce up to, where MR equals MC. So trace down, I get the ultimate quantity. I'll call it Q star. That's the quantity that's going to maximize profits. Now one more thing that I'm missing is the average total cost curve. I'm going to put average total cost down here. Looks like a U shape and now we want to find the profit of the business. So from Q star I'm going to trace up oh, I'm sorry ATC is what that is. So from Q star I'm tracing up to the first thing that we hit which is the average total cost curve. Trace over Next, we trace up to where we get to our average revenue line, which is that Mr. Par line. And clearly, average revenue is greater than the average total cost at Q star. So there's going to be a profit. The area of the profit is the difference between the Mr. Par line and the average total cost. So that orange area that is shaded in is the profit. Now what happens? Other entrepreneurs see that the firm is making a profit. And in the long run, they're going to enter this market. So what does entry into the market look like? It looks like an increase in supply. They've now, other entrepreneurs have now entered the market. Now we get a new equilibrium price which is driven down. Maybe now it's $1.50. Again, the firms have to accept that price decided by supply and demand. Now they're charging $1.50. Here's our new Mr. Pard line. Now Mr. Pard is below ATC. Now there's a loss. Now businesses would exit in the long run. So in the long run, there's no profit, no loss because of constant entry and exit in and out of the market.